Hello and welcome to episode 20 of me, Sui, playing Life is Strange. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I know this series hasn't, like, had a lot of viewership or anything, but, like, I don't know, it's just been kind of a self-indulgent thing, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and play it now. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Oh yeah, she does I better hurts. focus on this board and start tying these clues together. All right. Oh, Frank, I'm actually just want to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank, for getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party, and good luck. Oh, we made friends with him! Oh, that's so good. That makes me happy. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. There's a specific number of clues to select. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Uh... David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Why a photo of course, us? I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Okay. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel will meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Um... Was picked up for a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen. Okay. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Hmm. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. See, I don't... I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I don't know what, like, enough of this means. Let's go Max, for... I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. We'll see Let's here. look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. But we have the paper that... Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Uh, what's that? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Okay. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. <laughs> Let's see. Who? So Chloe's bulldog. Now nope, that makes sense. That makes sense. So selecting this. And then selecting this is going to be... Yes! The okay. game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Okay. Okay, Max. Remember these names and 
see how Nathan fits in with all this. We're looking for rot. Uh, so there's this one. That one mentions him. Oh. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, if Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Uh, da, da, da. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yeah. That seems suspicious. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Uh... I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. <laughs> There's two on here. You also mentioned on this oh, one. Yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. David's clues were confusing, so I'm going to try Nathan's. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Well, a SIM card would. Try this paper. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. These two. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. No. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Uh... Hmm... If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. I don't know... Oops. I don't know what to select here. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Okay, I'm gonna try the paper first. 9535, because that seems the most likely. Really? I can't, like, I can't even type. Okay. 9... 3... No, did that not work? Then we can try four ones. See if he ever changed that. No. Um. One zero one zero. Or it could be O eight two nine. Let's try O eight two nine. Nope. There might be a button I'm supposed to be pressing. I don't know. Uh, 1010. I don't see any button I'm supposed to be clicking. <gasps> There's an apply on the bottom. Oh my god. Why? Let's try 9353 three again. It was a 9353 or 9535? Oops. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, let's try 1111 really quick. You locked it, dumbass. What? 
he okay? Oh, eight, seven, wait, wait, wait. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. So it's eight. Ah, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight. Oh, wrong code. Cuck you. And you made me say that. Oh, it's eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Eight, eight, seven, eight. Seven, nine, no, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, oh, eight. Oh, yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Okay. What up, Neat the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, a hole. Come down, bring it to me. Bring it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. <sighs> This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Okay. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need me to score ASAP. You don't have house- I don't make house calls, you have a car. No time, charge me double. Uh, have cash on you, no messing around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get that Drug money out. Drug dealer drama. Yep, bro? No. What do you need? Okay. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being awful. Need more stuff. You home? Yeah. Don't come. God, Nathan. Ugh. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, yeah. Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this <laughs> from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I like nothing more than be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Okay. So now we just need to figure out David's clues. Um. The thing is, is I don't... No. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Hmm. Nathan. <laughs> oh no. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Uh. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. And then... Uh... Which one does that match? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? I think that's the same. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. So where are we going to end up? Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So let's so, see. This infamous party was the 4th. October 4th. Is the 4th. Boondocks. Uh. 
the wrong day. So this one, and then let's see. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Okay. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. All right, what time was that on that last one? Ah, uh, yeah, that's not relevant. Not much out there. Uh, that's suspect. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. That beach is like Frank's main office. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? 4 a.m., geez. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. It's this one. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Hmm. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron... Prescott. That's a Prescott. I'm shocked. So... Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel mm. like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Oh, no, I don't... Hmm... Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. All right. This place is so creepy looking. I do not remember this at all from Whoa. when I played the game. Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Or is there if right we now? We need to get in that barn. Hmm. So I gotta find a way in somehow. There's a car here. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Uh, thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, someone is gonna kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, Grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero duties. Now you just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. Promise. Cool. I have to calm myself down. Oh. He worked so hard to protect. A squirrel. Is this a way in? You know what? We can kind of peek in. Oh no, it was just a way in. Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Oh yes! Maximus rules! God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Yeah, this is creepy. Hey, check out this old chest. 
little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Hmm. I actually think searching that would be more interesting, but... Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. It looks like this farm was used as a farm. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Dearest Mr. Linden, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may be not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay for your debt within 10% interest, as plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Lovely. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Hmm. Okay, there's just like a bit of weird flooring there for some reason. Okay, wait, is that I could photo? Oh, there's oh, a photo to look at. Talk about home on the range. Oh. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Boring. Boring. <sighs> Nothing here. Oh, so it was sus for no reason. Okay. Pitchfork? If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Search the ground here. Just rotting wood. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> ah, the good old days. <laughs> Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee. Wait, does that say cocaine? <laughs> we. So many haystacks. So few needles. So many haystacks. So nope. few needles. Okay. So we cannot search for a needle in the haystack, sadly. Chloe would make a great detective too. Hmm. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. So. What have I missed? Boring. Boring. Oh, I can search here too. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Padlock no, pass. Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the oh. second you need any help. I can attach that there and then go press the button. And hopefully it goes up. Easy peasy. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Mm. So that is attached. I can climb on this Chloe, platform. Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Max has cool shoes. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, I can pull the motor. 
Oh, well, I thought we were gonna start it. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. So, but, I mean, this works too. There's the rope there. Is there anything else of interest here? No, sadly. Okay. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Uh, hook it up to something heavier. It's all kinds of hay bales. Tell me if you need any help. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's a barn owl I can take a photo of. Oh, it's on a thing. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> That's such Sorry. an older reference. It's cute. That was like actually uh, relevant back then, too. Can I climb down? No, you don't have any hints. Damn. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. This tractor has paid its dues. Hmm. That didn't have, like, anything I could use. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. What can I do? I don't remember this part at all. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. I need like gloves or something. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. How are we supposed to do this? Uh, am I missing something? Well, I mean, obviously I am, but maybe I need to leave? Maybe there's something outside. Hmm. There's the tracks. It doesn't look like there's anything. No, I don't want to go there. Okay. I'm not seeing anything I could use though. So I'm not sure. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty bar? Oh, yeah, that's... I mean, maybe they have a shop of some sort? Kinda doubt it though. I have no clue. I will solve this old, in this recording. Old. But I'm at a bit of a loss here, not gonna lie. This isn't super obvious. So I can't use that. I'm not seeing anything that would be, like, an actual solution here. Hmm. I hope I don't have to look this up, but I might have to. We'll find out. Be careful up there, Max. There's like an old thing there. See, I can look at that rope, but I can't do anything with it. Um, 
What is the solution here? We're gonna tear up our hands trying. Fall. Oh, I know. Get the motor back up here. attach that to the old motor. I totally forgot about the time traveling for a minute there. I figured it out pretty fast though, all things considered. Then I can just push that. Or pull it and then push it. Tell me if you need any help. There you go. Max Giver strikes again. And we did it. Alright, so what's in here? Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Creepy. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Okay. This bunker is so surreal. The security door. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. What might the code be? I guess we gotta go back up and look for anything that could be a code. I don't know what is likely to be a code though. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Okay. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Uh, there's a couple dates there. But for some reason, I don't think those dates wow, are going to be relevant. Talk about home on the range. I think we're going to want something a little more recent. But I really don't know. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Um, I could try it. 0724, 0722. So we can try those two numbers and see. And then from there, we can like decide to move or not. Now that's a serious door. Uh, oh, hey, so it's obviously two, four, five being used. You can do it, Max. Five, four, two. There's only nine possible options. So four. Five, four, two. There you go. Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Not very secure when, uh, pretty obvious. Open sesame. What is this? Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. Must have caused a fortune. Well, that just must be their bunker, the bomb Come bunker, on. maybe. Or it could be something more sinister. Who knows? Now what the hell is this? This looks like the bomb bunker. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Mm. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestion for his and others' well-being. 
You know, well, the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear as he, he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and believe he needs serious help. I, if you would talk, if you would like to talk about this matter, I will always be available. Okay, duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Hmm. What's with the Prescotts and creepy art? Hmm. I remember this room. I guess vaguely. Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Uh, Stormbreaker Bunker. Pff, over a million dollars. Talk about tortured. Yeah, it definitely looks like Nathan's work. At least like what we saw in his room, you know? Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Alright, let's read this. Dear Nathan, Principal Wills... Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on the family. Yikes. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're my son, and I want us to fill, fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step up into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Hmm. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom, just so you can mess it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. You're here on your own. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Oh my god. No. That's not good. Look at all this weird shit. Uh. Oh. There's so many names. Oh, and there's one that says Rachel. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria's on there too. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Maybe Victoria's no, like no, the next Kate. planned victim? No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Um, Kermit's jittering a bit there. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all these files. This place actually feels evil. What is with the cow? Which is like a casting couch. <laughs> Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. That's probably a bad thing, though. Like, hmm. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Somebody likes their whiskey. I remember what happens next, so I'm like struggling to These think of what I can talk are about. All about Rachel and Kate. Oh no. Oh. Needles. Gross. 
gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Okay, now before I go any further, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. Let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, then go follow me over on Twitch. I stream there four days a week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.